2023 was a big year for Vivo. It even became India's largest smartphone brand, though just for a quarter. 2024 promises to be even bigger thanks to this bad boy, the Vivo X100 Pro. Now we pit the X100 Pro up against stalwarts like the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So let's find out if it is a worthy challenger. The X100 Pro comes with this distinct crescent moon-shaped camera bump. It is huge. On the other side, you have the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 8 Pro showcasing their sleek and aesthetic designs. Well, in the case of the Vivo, this feels more like a camera than a smartphone. Like it or not. Actually, I cannot understand why Vivo didn't bring all the colors of the X100 Pro to India because in this asteroid black, it feels a tad boring and it is quite slippery. They do have a very bewitching orange which is not only nicer to look at but also grippier. In fact, it is as classy as this blue Pixel 8 Pro. But overall, out of all the three phones, I feel the iPhone 15 Pro Max has the most balanced aesthetics. It has got a flat screen, a titanium frame, a very iconic look. It is the iPhone look. And on top of it, the least intrusive camera bump. Now, all three phones boast great screens. On paper, the X100 Pro has the brightest screen with a peak brightness of 3000 nits. But in real world use, I would say the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Pixel 8 Pro feel livelier and slightly brighter as well. In terms of performance, the X100 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max are in a league of their own. The X100 Pro becomes the first phone in the world to be powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 9300 processor, while the iPhone gets the A17 Pro chipset. Now, in terms of synthetic benchmarks, the Dimensity 9300 can outrun the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but in real world use, the iPhone 15 Pro Max just doesn't break a sweat. Be it you editing 4K video or even playing console level ray traced games like Resident Evil Village. The iPhone 15 Pro Max can do it all and stay cool as a cucumber. The Vivo on the other hand starts gasping for breath the more you use it. The Pixel 8 Pro, well, it's not even in the conversation here. When it comes down to still photography, there's a new sheriff in town and it's called the X100 Pro. It is the new king of still photography and it takes better photos than both of these bad boys in all kinds of conditions. It's just not better. It feels like you're using a much bigger camera, something like a range finder camera. It takes gorgeous portrait shots and it's got an amazing telephoto zoom lens which can even take beautiful macro shots. In fact, it's right up there even with the Galaxy S23 Ultra in terms of zooming. But when we talk about video, then the iPhone is still the king. In fact, it has pushed its lead even further thanks to the addition of log profiles. So now you can color grade your video and make it look even more professional. In fact, Apple posted its recent keynote and shot it completely on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now that's not to say the iPhone has got a bad still camera. In fact, it is still the simplest camera that you can have for photography. But even the Pixel 8 Pro is pretty good out here. In fact, its video capabilities get a boost thanks to AI and Google's cloud. But if you take that out of the mix, then the iPhone overall is still the better camera. But for photos, this is the new king. Battery life is very important for most people. In 2023, out of all the flagship phones I tested, the iPhone 15 Pro Max had easily the best battery life. It is a phone that will last you 
for more than a day on a single charge and on top of it apple made it easier to charge as well by adding usb type c connectivity now the vivo x100 pro cannot measure up to the battery life of the iphone 15 pro max but that's not to say it has got bad battery life it will last you a day on a single charge pretty much on par as the pixel 8 pro but it also has one little trick of its own it is the fastest charging phone of the trio now this phone can be fully juiced up in less than 40 minutes thanks to its flash charger and it also gets 50 watt wireless charging so that will work with only a proprietary wireless charger the software experience can make or break a smartphone the iPhone, of course, is legendary for its curated yet restrictive experience. With iOS 18 that blooms further, they've added a couple of new features, but it also remains the simplest and most secure phone to use. Now, for the Android faithful, they will never shy away from the Pixel 8 Pro because of its stock and vanilla Android experience. They've also dropped the first feature drop, so that's another great thing. The Vivo X100 Pro feels a tad dated and it is loaded with bloatware, which is a bigger concern. Now, for most people, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is still going to be my recommendation because it provides the most rounded smartphone experience. But the cameras on the X100 Pro are going to bewitch Shutterbugs. It's got a mighty camera system, which is just amazing. And in its own right, it's also a pretty formidable smartphone, but it just lacks the polish and finesse that the iPhone and the Pixel 8 Pro provide from a software and design perspective. And that's why at its price point, it's going to be a hard sell.